Hi, it's Bart from RecPro.com. This movie is one of our videos about deploying trial environment for IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management. This part is about installing utilities required by IBM solution. Hope you will enjoy it. The first tool we will start with uh, will be 7-Zip, which is free and open source solution for compressing, compressing files. So if you are thinking about WinRAR, WinZip, this is ex ex exactly the equivalent of those uh, tools, but it is free and, and open source. Um, here you can ask a question why we are not using, you know, Windows, uh, Windows default tool for, uh, you know, compressing files. IBM is recommending uh, 7-zip because uh, it handles uh, much better with the longer file names. So if you want to avoid some problems, uh, just use 7-zip seven, seven, seven to un unpack, uh, you know, uh, binaries provided by, um, uh, by IBM. So uh, what you should do, uh, first you should download uh, the version which you want to use for your operating system. So you, should, you can use the version 19 or for example, you can use some alpha version. Uh, just download, uh, you know, 64 or 32-bit version that is dedicated for, for your machine. What I did uh, just, just, uh, uh, just before this recording, I downloaded the, uh, the version the latest version to avoid downloading time. So what I just did, I just installed the, uh, this, this version on, on my machine. The second, the second tool, uh, is Notepad++, uh, which I usually use as a file editor. So if I want to change something in the configuration file, um, or the configuration files. Notepad++ is just a much better solution than a standard Notepad, Windows Notepad. Um, of course, if you prefer something else, uh, like uh, Visual Studio Code or any other editor which you can, which you can use as a um, configuration files editor, um, just, just, just use it. Of course, if you prefer Notepad, I, I, I don't mind, but, uh, Notepad++ just has better support for, for syntax highlighting. Um, so, of course, what I did, I downloaded Notepad++ as well, uh, before, and before this recording. So I'll just select English as my preferred language and I will just install this solution. I will just create shortcut on my desktop. And I will just select not to run it right now. The last application which you should have on your machine before you will start installing IBM engineering um, solution is an application which is called IBM Installation Manager. So IBM Installation Manager is a is an application which allows you to install all the IBM engineering tools. So IBM is providing repositories and you just connect those repositories to this installation manager software. And this installation manager software is responsible for um, performing the whole installation of the tool for you. Uh, we will download installation manager for from jazz.net website. Of course, if you are existing IBM customer, you can download this software directly from IBM Passport Advantage. But the purpose of this, uh, of this uh, recording, this, 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 uh, this movie is that even non existing, not existing IBM customers can, for example, do the, the, the trial version installation. So, uh, so if you are not existing IBM customer, you should just, you should just download the installation manager directly from just, just.net website. Uh, what is important before you will start downloading, uh, the software, I recommend creating, um, an account on the just.net, uh, because Without uh, account on the Jazz.net website, you won't be able to download any any software. Registration is free of charge. You don't have to put any credit card number. Uh, so it is just five minutes, not even two minutes of work. Uh, you just need to create a profile, confirm your email, and and you are ready to go in 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 seconds. Honestly. 
Uh, when you have account, how to download installation manager and where you can find it, uh, you can just go to downloads and click engineering lifecycle manager, uh, engineering lifecycle management. Of course, you can select one of the products as well because the path to the installation manager is exactly the same. So you can, we will just select engineering lifecycle management. Then you need to select a version which you plan to install. Uh, right now you see that uh, the latest release is the version 7.0. Uh, when you will see this movie, most probably 7.0.1 will be available, 7.0.2 later. Uh, this process will be exactly the same. So, so you can just repeat the steps which I will perform in the following movies and most probably you will be able to install your trial environment um, successfully. So I will just click on the version 7. And what I will do next, I will just click all downloads. And under all downloads, if I will slowly scroll down, I will see a hyperlink to IBM installation manager 9.1.1. Of course, the version of the installation manager can be, uh, let me say different. Uh, when you will watch this movie, uh, but uh, installation manager is is quite often working when you have an older version of the installation manager with the newer files. Not always, uh, but, but, but usually is. So you don't have to, you don't need to have the latest version of the installation, uh, installation manager. So if on your machine you have, for example, 1.9 or 1.8, most probably you don't have to download the new version because this version will still work with the IBM repositories we plan, we plan to install. Uh, of course, if you want, you can always upgrade your current installation. So I will just click 1.9.1.1 and I am, and right now I am on the page where I can select the version which I plan to download. So, uh, I'm running on Windows 64 bit 2016. So I can just click here and I just need to confirm my, um, confirm terms of the license and just click download and the proper file will be downloaded. Uh, of course, if you are not logged in, you will get a logon screen. Uh, that uh, and you will have to put your username and add password. Of course, if you are if you are already logged in, the file will be downloaded. I downloaded the file just before recording this this uh, this movie to save time. And uh, right now, what I uh, what I will do, I will just use the seven zip I downloaded before the movie, and I will extract the file to the folder with the same name. And right now, two important things. Uh, I can go to the installation manager and I can just execute it as an administrator. I highly recommend to execute install process as an administrator because if you will run it with the normal user with the, without administrative permissions, it may fail. Uh, if you plan to install everything in English, you can do it like this. Uh, if you if you, for example, installing on the system which is in other, which is using other language, for example, it is in German, but you want to have English installation, or for example, in, you know, French or Spanish, um, you can just write install.exe minus nl and just put a n as a default language. Of course, if I would run it like this, um, most probably I won't run it as an admin. So how to do it? You can just uh, start command line as an administrator, go to this directory uh, and then execute it, execute it as an administrator. So we can quickly do such an exercise. So I'll just go to the start. I will find command line, run as administrator. I will just go to this directory and I can just write install minus n l e n. Of course, do it this way if you don't have your system in English, if you have it in German or other language. Of course, if your system is in English, you can just do right click and run as administrator without any problems. 
Okay, so right now I'll quickly go back to the installation manager. So right now we are installing installation manager. You see, not any license is even required. I'll just click next. I will be asked about accepting license terms. And of course, the installation manager is asking me where it should be installed. I will just install it on the C IBM and I will just click install. It can take minute or two to complete the, the installation, but it usually it is it is it is quite uh, quite quite quick. And after it will be done, we will be ready to just start installing uh, the whole IBM engineering, engineering, engineering suite. Okay, perfect. You see, it was installed successfully. We can click Restart Installation Manager. And right now, after we clicked Restart Installation Manager, Installation Manager right now is started from our machine and is ready to uh, to go. Uh, of course, I will close it. I will close this inst uh, window with the installation files. And if you want to check if the installation manager was installed properly, you see that installation manager is available on our machine. Thank you for watching this video. If you are more interested in our services, trainings or offerings, please visit our website recpro.com. Thank you.